So the news is finally out. I can finally tell you what's been going on with War of the World. So if you aren't on the Discord server, you will have missed the big reveal of the new tripod design. And my god, it looks amazing. I'll put some pictures on screen now so you can see. Back in December, Raf brought on board LDBH. I think that's how you say his name, LD. You've probably seen him if you're on the Discord. But because he was posting some of these really impressive artworks on the game's Discord server, unfortunately I did miss them. But apparently they were really good and Raf wanted to bring him on board. And and since then, they have completely redone everything to do with the tripods. Not just the design, but they're also doing the animations and the skeleton rig thingy. That means hitboxes as well, I'm guessing, as well. All of the technical mumbo jumbo that I don't really know and understand. And some of you will probably already be connecting the dots here, but this does mean that the game has been delayed from reaching its first public test version by, and I quote, at least another two to three months. Yeah, that part really sucks, but ultimately we will get a much better product at the end of it because damn the detail on these new pods is amazing and that's not the only good thing that's coming from this. Supposedly, now I don't really know the details on this and how or why, but apparently the new tripod design is going to bring a lot better performance to the game. This is part of this ongoing battle through the development. Anytime new things get added, as you would expect, the game's performance just takes a nosedive and then, you know, a good few weeks is spent improving improving the FPS. This is just one of the reasons why this game is really probably not going to make it to consoles. And to those of you who are hoping that it somehow comes to mobile, you, you can keep on dreaming. So yeah, it means we'll be waiting a little while longer, but I know a lot of you have said in the past in the comments about how the tripods aren't 100% accurate to the movie and that they could be done better, which includes the Uberpod as well. Which by the way, I'm pretty sure that's getting a rework as well. So the Uberpod is going to be different and I know the reveal for the Uberpod a few months ago did kind of divide opinion so you'll be glad to know that it's probably going to end up also being 100% movie accurate so at least we can all get on board with the new designs. This does kind of present a possible issue though that I've been thinking about a lot and I know a lot of you in comments and on discord have said this before but this game isn't officially licensed by Paramount. Not that it needs to be because the War of the Worlds as an idea is in the public domain so anyone can do a War of the Worlds game we've seen them done before however this you know, the design of the tripods and the aliens and the probe, that could cause potential issues with Paramount that made the movie because technically those designs belong to them. So the game was already risking drawing the eyes of Paramount before they decided to go with these 100% movie accurate tripods. And I know Raph has stated a long time ago on Discord about how if Paramount did come knocking that they'd have a backup tripod design that looks different enough that they should be safe from any copyright infringement. But now it kind of feels like they're just saying, screw it, let's just make them the same. I really do hope that this doesn't bite them in the ass because I'd hate to see this game taken down and Raph getting sued because he genuinely wants to make a cool game that's just as close to the movie experience as possible. So hopefully he's got a plan in place just in case. But do let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that one because I can't be the only one that's concerned as cool as the new tripods look. And actually I've just done some reading just to quickly refer back to what I said earlier. I have just seen in the announcement on Discord that they are definitely in fact working on a new Uberpod design as Patreon members can already get a first look so there's good news there. I want to point out as well that I'm not hating on the idea for changing the pod designs. I actually really like them, but I just hope that this doesn't draw the eyes of people that have the power to take the project down. But that's just one man's opinion. Let me know yours in the comments. Right, so moving on from that to the next big topic for this video, and it's going to be another one that might divide opinions. We know the game is going to be delayed. It's just a fact. And as I said previously, performance is a thorn in our side when it comes to making this game, as the Unity engine can be quite limiting. Now, I've been chatting to Raf, the lead developer, and he is going to be doing a poll in a Void Boys next live stream. Now, I don't know when that is exactly, but I know that a lot of you that watch me also watch Void, so you'll know when, but this poll is to gauge whether or not he should switch the game from the Unity engine over to Unreal Engine 5. Now, why would he need to do a poll on this? Well, simply put, switching to Unreal 5, while it will make the graphics and performance of the game look way better, it will delay the release of the game a lot more. To the point where Raf is delaying his firefighter training by like a couple of years, so he can work on the project fully for longer, which, I mean, that would give you an idea that this is going to make the game take a lot longer. Obviously, this is entirely the community's decision here, that's why he's doing a poll, but switching to Unreal Engine 5 will make the performance a lot better, and speaking as a closed tester for the game, performance is a major speed bump in development. Every time new features get added, and Unreal Engine 5 should negate that. So those are the pros to switching. The con is that the game will be delayed for quite some time. Probably wouldn't even be coming out this year, if you don't mind me being a bit bleak, but I think in the end it will be worth it, because 
because if he doesn't swap now, it'll be a lot more work to do later on if he decides to switch the game, like, you know, or sorry, to switch the engine after the game has come out. Okay, so this is just quickly something I'm inserting into the video because this was something that I was discussing with Raf whilst I was recording the last little bit for this whole video. So apparently there's another alternative from switching to Unreal Engine, which is apparently something called Unity HDRP, which is High Definition Render Pipeline. Now, I don't really know the technical side of things because I'm not a developer, but apparently what this will do is it will help the game to achieve Unreal Engine level graphics whilst remaining on Unity. So it sounds pretty good. So this is something to also consider when deciding to vote for whether you should switch to Unreal or to keep it on Unity. Either way, there will be an upgrade in graphics. So consider that and back to the video. Also, while I was talking to Rafi, he did say feel free to make a poll here as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a pinned comment below that has two replies to it. One reply is to stay on Unity and the other reply is to switch to Unreal Engine 5. All you need to do to cast your vote is upvote on the comment of that states what you think he should do. Raf will be taking a look at the poll, so be sure to leave your thoughts there as well. So, I did say there was a big reveal coming, but even I wasn't expecting all of this, and I like to be optimistic about this sort of thing, but it is a big decision and a lot to think about, and I've got my own opinions, but I would like to hear yours in the comments below. Alternatively, you can come to my Discord and chat with the community there. Raf is always watching, and I know he values your opinions a lot, so if you've got something to say, let's hear it. If I could summarize this whole thing that's come out, from this I'd say that if the game was a car we've just come to a crossroads and I think no matter which way we go we'll end up with a fun game at the end but it's whether you want to take the quicker road but it's more covered in potholes and your car might come out a little rougher at the end or we can just take the longer route but it's been freshly resurfaced but it will take you twice as long to get where you're going. Given my track record with cars, I would say don't risk the pothole route. Just trust me on this one. <laughs> but yeah, remember to leave your vote below and check out Void Boy's stream whenever that's on. Hopefully it's not already been done or it's not on when this video comes out. If it is, just be sure to quickly go over there and leave your vote. As well as obviously leave your thoughts in this video as well. I would really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on those notifications so that way you never miss a video. That would be awesome. And I'd be very grateful if you did. Special thank you to my members for continuing to support me. I really do appreciate you a lot. Links to all my socials are below as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon.